Hi, I'm Pierre Escobas from Riviera Macro. Uh, today is a beautiful day on the French Riviera. I'm in my garden and as it was the case last year, I just discovered here in this plant in front of me that there's an orb web spider that lay down its eggs and the cocoon has you know, opened. All the little spiders have emerged and just like last year, uh, this was a good opportunity to do some macro video. Uh, the spiderlings are just all together grouped and they're very nice looking, yellow and it's a very nice behavioral uh, sequence. So I've decided to do a little bit of uh, macro video to illustrate that. And I've set up the camera and the lights here. And I thought this was a good opportunity to share with you uh, the setup I'm using for doing macro video uh, in situ. Um, I'll do another video on the studio, but uh, this is really filming uh, in a natural setting. So what I'm going to do is, because I've been filming already and got my shot, so I'm going to take apart the setup and show you each component and how I did uh, organize everything to get my shots. So here's how we're going to do it. Uh, I'm going to just take apart the setup and put everything here on the table next to me. Uh, then I'll go in the shade and uh, we'll review every piece of equipment that's been used. And I'm not going to touch the little spiders which are here so as not to disturb them. So okay, let's go. I will accelerate the video so it's not too boring. Okay, so I'm nice and comfortable. I moved away from the sun over there and uh, let's go through the gear. Uh, first of all, the tripod. This is an old tripod which I've had for many years. It's a Velbon. It's very, very nice. It's very sturdy. It's also very heavy. So I'm not using this for photography anymore because it's too heavy to carry, but it's very good for video because it's very stable. I changed the head so this is a ball head um, it used to have a ball head now this is a fluid head uh, it's a cheap Chinese one from Endure I think it's pretty good uh, it's very it's very smooth and uh, it's easy to uh, operate so I'm happy with the with the purchase didn't cost me much and so the combo is uh, is very good for video very nice and stable okay so that's for the camera for the lights I've been using this stands. They're uh, studio stands from Manfrotto. I think they're in the Nano. Um, they're very good also. It's Manfrotto equipment. I've got uh, flash stands, flash umbrella stands for the studio um, to which I adapted my lights. Uh, so it's all Manfrotto equipment. I've got two of these. Uh, very convenient to set up the lights. Talking about the lights, I've been using again my uh, Quadra light panels. Uh, this is a loan from the company, and um, I'm very happy with this, the MyLED 1988. Uh, I uh, use an adapter to put into the Manfrotto system, and I've used them as a, at 100%. So they're very good, not, not much to say. It's very convenient to have LED lights. Um, the only thing is filming for like one, two, three hours. Um, they will run out of battery, although they've got a pretty good uh, battery inside. So I had to use a power pack. So this is an Anchor uh, high capacity power pack and I plugged my lights into the pack so I get more autonomy. And uh, it's necessary because actually during the show, shoot this morning, I ran out of battery, I had to recharge them and then put the pack on. But with the pack on, you know, it can go for several hours. So I've got two of the lights. Uh, next is the video screen. Uh, this is indispensable. I've been filming with the with an icon camera. The back screen is just not enough to have a good idea of what you're filming. It's also not comfortable. Um, this one doesn't have a lifting screen. And so I'm using this uh, rather cheap but very good video screen. It's a field world. I think the F6, uh, it's a 5.5 inches. 
um, set up with a little uh, ball head here and I plug it into my camera with the HDMI cable. Um, it runs on the also NPF batteries. Um, I needed two or three of these during the shoot also. It, it tends to consume quite a bit of energy, but it's very nice and you have a lot of features easily accessible like uh, focus peaking, which is very useful. I'm very happy with this screen. I use it all the time for video now. Uh, now talking about the camera equipment, I filmed this morning with my Nikon uh, full frame uh, D800. Um, not much to say, this is good equipment, you know, this one has traveled a lot, it's still ongoing, it's a very good camera, I didn't need more than uh, uh, 180p, uh, 1080p, um, uh, full HD uh, to film, so I didn't need to use the Z6, which is filming me now, uh, because I didn't need to film in 4K, uh, I'm not doing that at the moment, okay? So I used two lenses for this uh, session. Um, also, before I forget, because I was in macro and it's a bit difficult to get your focus, today I've used a rail for focusing. It's a macro rail, it's a Velbon. Normally I don't like macro rails, I don't find them convenient to operate, but in this case it was indispensable too because um, the depth of field is so thin I filmed uh, at magnifications above 1 to 1, up to 5 to 1 this morning, and so this was indispensable to get the focus and change the focus quickly. It's a double direction, two, two axis rail, uh, uh, X and, and Y. I use mostly the uh, Y uh, direction this way to adjust my focus once um, I was in I was in place. Um, it makes the whole system a bit wobbly. Um, every time I touch the rail, it gives vibrations, so it's not perfect. I might change that later on, but for this morning it was fine. And I used two lenses this morning because I decided to film. Uh, starting the spiders you will see on the video, the spiders are absolutely tiny, they are less than a millimeter, and so I need to go high magnification. So for that I use my two Laowa lenses. Um, the Laowa macro lenses are absolutely splendid, very high optical quality, uh, perfect build, I have only good things to say about those lenses. So this is the 100 millimeter f2.8 which goes up to 2 to 1 magnification and um, that was the, the primary lens. I did the first shot, the first uh, lower magnification shots with this one. Then I mounted Raynox close-up lenses. So I'm using uh, Raynox on a regular basis because they're such good close-up lenses and they let you, you know, pump up the magnification. So I don't like the clips because the, 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 the lenses are not necessarily well centered uh, which gives you a bit of uh, distortion in your image or maybe lack of sharpness so I mount them on an adapter which I made myself and it's a screw-on adapter and, and goes like this on the thread uh, or the filter thread so first I use the 150 the DCR 150 which gives me one and a half times the magnification so I could go up to three times and then I use the other one I have the 250 so at the maximum, I, which gives 2.5 times magnification. So considering this goes 2 to 1, I was uh, up to 5 to 1 magnification for this uh, shoot uh, with the tiny spiders. And you'll see on the images, I get very, very high magnification. So this is a very good system, works perfectly. I use that for photography anyway. And I decided to try another thing this morning. I decided to use my other Laowa lens. Um, this is the... Uh, they call it the ultra macro 25 millimeter 2.5 to 5 times and this extends like this and it extends uh, to a magnification of 5 to 1 native so I use that also uh, this is a wonderful lens very sharp uh, for video, the only problem is when you close down, you don't see anything uh, because it doesn't have pre-selection, it's not automatic. So I use the little LED ring that uh, Laowa sells. Uh, it clips like this, if I manage to clip it like this. It clips on the lens, uh, like a ring, it's a ring light. 
Um, I don't like it normally because it, it gives very strange uh, reflections on the insects. But in this case, it worked nicely. And that was a nice complement uh, with the two uh, LED panels. It was necessary absolutely to get enough light at really uh, 5 to 1 magnification. And this also has a USB uh, port and it plugs into the same power pack. So I, get, I had my three lights uh, plugged on the, on the power pack and so I had enough light to close down. This was at, operated at f8 and uh, the big, uh, the 100 millimeter was operated at f22. And that's it uh, for the gear. So not very complicated. It's, it looks like a, a bit uh, of gear, but it's, it's not that much actually. And it's all quite uh, reasonably priced equipment. I like the, the Chinese equipment because it's, uh, it's cheap and convenient and, and very often a high quality. Okay, so uh, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you have questions about the equipment or the process. Now it's time for me to go to the computer and start editing uh, my footage. Okay, see you for the next video. Bye.